Praise the Lord, people of God. This is Angela Shelley with Pray to Win. Going into 2023, the Lord is expressly speaking that he desires for us to get our home, our health, and our finances in order. So we're going to do this as a series. It's a lot to cover. It's a lot to pray into. And as we pray, we understand that prayer is a bi-directional conversation. And so even as I pray, I ask that you take the time to sit with it, to not rush the time before the Lord. Prayer isn't a work, it's an experience. I'll say that again. Prayer isn't a work, it's an experience. It is an opportunity to fellowship with the Lord of Heaven, with the Holy Spirit, with the King of Kings, with the Lord of Lords. It's where we have relationship. How can we have relationship and not spend time? It's impossible. If me and my husband stop spending time together, our relationship isn't increasing, right? If me and my children stop spending time together, our relationship isn't increasing. It is through spending time together and getting to know one another and through experiences with one another. And prayer is that mechanism, that vehicle by which we do that with the Holy One of Israel, Abba, Father, with the God of the universe, Elohim. And so as we spend time praying and entreating of God, how to set our homes in order and the work that we must do as a result. And then seeking the Lord about how to get and keep our health in order. If we don't have these bodies working well, it is extremely hard to pray. So it is our health that is essential for us to steward. Without these bodies that he's given us to use, how will we be able to fulfill our purpose? Health is one of the things that we take for granted until we don't have it. And then the last thing that he said get in order was our finances. Many of us are in need of additional finances. Many of us are seeking God for financial breakthrough. And glory to God, he is a God who will do all those things. But once we get to know his character, we understand that he is the God who deals with the root of the issue rather than just the leaves. Thank God that he deals with the leaves too. But when I say he deals with the root of the issue, if you can mentally envision a weed and above it, you just see the, the leaf tops. And so often we pray about the weeds that we see. We pray about the crabgrass in our yard. <laughs> we pray about those thorns and thistles that we're seeing at the top. And so we, we do our best to cut those down, but then we find that shortly thereafter, those same problems, those same symptoms, those same results keep popping back up. And it's because we've dealt with the symptoms or we've asked God to handle the specific financial situation, but we didn't ask God to address the root. I'll be honest. Oftentimes, the root of our financial issues, this is not always, but the root of our financial issues is a poverty mindset. We're poor in our thinking. We're poor in our approach. We're poor. We live in a poverty stronghold, a poverty dwelling place. And so there are times where we can give and give and give and so and so and so, but the harvest as it would come up is being choked out by that poverty mindset. We limit ourselves because we're limited in our thinking. And so God is saying, in 2023, let's get these three things in order. We're going to get our home in order, our health in order, our finances in order. Not from a superficial, but he's going to do a deep work. Glory to God. So as we go into this prayer, we're focusing on the root issue and getting our homes in order. Amen. Even if this prayer seems long, I pray that you would stick with it. What we can do in just 15, 
20 minutes of prayer changes the trajectory, completely moves us from, from one place to another in the realm of the Spirit. Glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you so much for the ability to pray. I thank you so much for the ability to come before the Holy of Holies. I thank you so much for the opportunity to come before the King of Glory. Lord Jesus, it is only in your name that I dare approach the throne. Lord Jesus, I thank you so much for your blood that covers a multitude of sin. Holy Spirit, I dare not do anything without you. Holy Spirit, I ask that you arrest upon this prayer right now. I pull upon you to pray through me. For it is not my words that achieve anything, but it is the words that you speak. They are spirit and they are life. It is the word spoken of God that never returns void, but will accomplish the very thing whereinto it has been sent. So God, it is my earnest desire and prayer that you will pray through me so that your words will be spoken into the earth and they would go as seeds to the ground and bring forth much fruit and accomplish everything whereunto you have desired for them to be sent. Abba Father, I ask on behalf of myself and all of those that are praying along with me right now, wherever we are together in time and space. Father, we pray together as a body of Christ. God, we ask that you would intervene in our home affairs. Father, we ask that you would bring and pull our homes into order. Father, we declare our homes are in divine order. God, we ask that you would show us and give us wisdom and insight into the work that you would have us to do. Father, you have shared that your desire is that there be no more division, no more hidden contention in our homes, no more strife and unforgiveness. Father, you said that we are to make every effort to be at peace and to live at peace with one another, to make every effort. So, Father, we ask that you will mature us in this area. Father, we thank you that we have, we have been asking and we have been praying for you to move mightily. And, Father, we ask and we recognize right now that it is primarily in us, in our hearts, that we need to grow up. That we need to forgive. That we need to make amends. Father, that we need to come to learn and to know what it is to love truly as you have called us to love. To not be so self Focus, not to be so self-minded, but God, that you would show us how to humble ourselves, to lean and rely on you so that we can give our spouses, our children, our parents, you in us. Not us, but you in us. Father, there are needs that we have, certainly. And Father, we thank you that you are a God who is well able to meet those needs. But Father, we ask right now that we put ourselves aside and you show us how can we be a vehicle for your peace? How can we be instruments of your peace? How can we bring peace to chaos? How can we bring shalom to chaos? Where is it that we need to pour out, pour out grace, pour out mercy, pour out love, pour out encouragement, pour out support, pour out long suffering? Father, you have not given us these fruits of the Spirit for us to not use. You have not given us patience for us not to use it. You have not said that we should have the fruit of long-suffering for us to not long-suffer. You have not given us the, the fruit of self-control for us not to control ourselves, to control our mouths. Father, you have not given us the fruits of joy for us to not lean on the fruit of joy. So, Father, we, we thank you, Lord God, that the fruit of the Spirit are also the weapons of our warfare to bring our homes into divine order. And we thank you, Lord God, that, that you don't ask us to do this in our own strength, but God, that you are giving us all the equipment, the angelic assistance, the help of the Holy Spirit, who is the same Spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead and dwells in us. The same spirit that brooded over the waters in the beginning and made everything and moved on behalf of your word. That same spirit dwells in us and is well able to bring our homes in order. So Father, we speak over our husbands. We speak over our wives and we declare their 
minds are in order. Their lives are in order. And God, we know that there's only one order. For you are the source of order. You are the source of shalom, the source of peace, all things working and functioning together as you originally designed and intended as a definition of shalom. So Father, we speak shalom to our husband's minds. We speak shalom to our husband's health. We speak shalom to our husband's mentality and their mindsets. We speak shalom to their hearts. Father, we speak shalom to everywhere that they have been hurt. And we speak, Lord God, that you would come in and sup with them and they with you. Father, we ask that because of your love, that your love would pursue them and cause them and draw them to a place in you, Lord God, where they are fortified, where they are foundationally set to live according to your words and your precepts, Lord Jesus, to live according to what you taught, said, and did, Jesus. Father, those ancient hurts, those ancient things that have been set up to occur over and over again in their bloodline, we cause them to stop and cease and desist in the name of Jesus. Father, we sever them. We sever those ways of their bloodline with them right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we stand in the legal authority that you have given us in the name of Jesus. And as their spouses, you said, Father, in your word that the two have become one flesh. So we pray for our spouses with the same legal authority that we can pray for our own selves. And so, Father, we thank you that they walk in a place of love. We pray, Father, that your love so pursues them that they are able to love themselves. Father, they can't love us until they love themselves. So, Father, we thank you for outpouring of your love in our husbands and in our wives. That they will so love themselves, oh God. That love that never fails. That covers a multitude of sins. That would break every chain that would destroy every yoke that would the anointing that would destroy every yoke father i thank you lord god that your love and that your anointing was so rest and abide in their hearts that it would shatter every dwelling place that the enemy would try to set them in father we call forth a healing and a restoration in our homes like never before father we ask for you are the god of miracles we ask God that you would do a miracle in our homes. Father, we know it looks like in the natural. Father, we just ask for a miracle. We ask for that, Lord God, because you are in the miracle working business. Lord God, what you have done before, you will do again. So, Father, we just ask that you will release a miracle of divine order in our homes. A miracle of divine order for our children. A miracle of divine order from the head of the home all the way to the children. And even to our children's children. Father, this year we will walk in the miracle of restored homes. We will walk in the miracle of healed homes. Father, we claim for ourselves the commanded blessing of spiritual unity the commanded blessing of spiritual unity in our homes. That means from the head of the home all the way to the youngest, we pray together. We stand in spiritual unity together, Father. Father, you desire for us to grow up. You desire for us to move forward, to launch out into the deep in you, Lord God. Father, I thank you that you have shared your word that says that you are calling your people closer, away from the outskirts, the periphery of your presence. Beyond being only close enough to see you, but close enough to experience you. Moving us, Lord God, from not just knowing of you, but to knowing you through experience. Moving us away from not only just knowing the works of your hands, but knowing you through the experience and the encounters in you, Lord God. Father, shifting us to not just knowing about how you work, but to knowing your ways. Father, we repent for having mistaken knowing the name of Jesus to understanding the character of Jesus. Father, we thank you that you shift us from moving beyond just knowing the name of Jesus, but to walking 
in the character and the authority and the power of that name. Father, we thank you. We thank you that as we walk closer and closer with you, that we we are assured of what you will do. We may not know how you will do it, but we are assured of what you will do. We are assured that you are a healer, therefore you will heal. We are assured that you are a deliverer, therefore you will deliver. We are assured that you came to set the captive free. We are assured that you came to preach the good news to the poor. We are assured that you came to proclaim the acceptable, the year of favor. We are assured that you came to restore sight to the blind. Father, we thank you that you are causing us and drawing us closer and closer to who you are, to experiences and spiritual and supernatural encounters with you. Father, we thank you that you draw us closer. And Father, I am assured, according to your word, which is holy and whole, that you are a rewarder of those who will diligently seek you. So Father, we thank you that as we pray, you are a rewarder of those that diligently seek you by faith. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that, that your word goes on to say that it had profited them nothing because they didn't mix it with faith. Father, we declare and decree in the name of Jesus that our names will not be affiliated with that number, but it will profit us because we are mixing it with faith. Father, we believe. We believe that you will restore our home. We believe that you will cause our homes to be in order. We believe that you will send a miracle, Father, to our homes because you are able and you are in the miracle working business. And because of your character, Jesus, we know that you'll do it for us. Thank you, Jesus, that you are a faithful God. Father, we thank you that you are a faithful God. So, Father, we humble ourselves before you and we say, Lord God, anything that we have been doing in our own strength, Father, we know it hasn't been working. So, Father, we thank you, Lord God, that, that we make room for you to come in. We, that we wait and we rest in you. That we trust you. T-R-U-S-T. Total reliance upon spiritual timing. We trust you. And we're willing to wait. However long we must wait, Father, we will wait. But we are assured that we will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. This is our testimony. That we see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. This is our testimony. Because we are confident in whom we have believed. We believe in you, Father. For you've never failed. You are a God who cannot fail. You are a God who cannot lie, and you are a God who is faithful, even to the end of the age. God, your word says that, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Thank you for being with us. Because you are with us, we have hope. Because you are with us, we have faith. Because you are with us, we have guidance. And we seek you for guidance. We seek you for guidance. Father, we understand according to your word. There is a part that we have to play in the miracle. Lord Jesus, when you performed your first miracle, you said, gather the six water pots and fill them with water. For the water to be turned into wine, they had to go fill the water pots with the water. And they held 20 to 30 gallons full of water. And they were in a place where water may not have been all that abundant, but they took the time and carried those heavy pots and filled them with water and then they brought them back. That was a work that they had to do to see the miracle. Father, show us what the work is that we have to do to see our miracles. But it is you, it is you that will turn the water into wine, Jesus. So Father, we thank you that you are showing us what to do with our marriages, what to do with our children, what to do with our homes. And we trust you. That as we bring you the water, Jesus, Son of God, God of the living, you will turn that water into the water. So we thank you for it. We give you praise, honor, and glory. And we take time right now to listen. As Habakkuk said, I will sit upon my watchtower and wait to see what the Lord will say unto me and to what instructions he would give. So, Father, we thank you that we spend the time to do just that. 
because you who promise is faithful. And we give you praise, honor, and glory for both now and forever and ever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for praying with me. Again, we're doing a series. So be watchful for the next video. Spend time seeking God's face. Our homes shall be in order in 2023. Our health shall be in order in 2023. And our finances shall be in order in 2023. He never gives us instruction without having laid out a success plan, a rescue plan. Glory to God. Glory to God. And because he's asking us to pray over these three things, he's moving on our behalf in these three areas. Amen. God hears you. He sees you, and He knows exactly what you're going through. Be encouraged. I love you. I am praying for you. Stay tuned for the next video. Please subscribe. Please like and share, and please comment. All of these things work together to help YouTube recognize that, that you're watching and enjoying the content, and it helps other people come across this content as well. So I, I ask, if you don't do anything else, that you would do those things that help get these prayers to the body of Christ. And always remember, if we can win the home, we can win the nation. And if we can win the nation, we can win the world. Because we don't just pray, we pray to win. God bless you. See you in the next video.